Nicola Sturgeon's bid to rejoin the EU would be difficult. The First Minister was warned as pro-Brexit fishermen in Scotland will soon enjoy the benefits of Brexit Britain freed from Brussels CFP. Chief Executive Officer of the Scottish Fishermen's Federation Elspeth MacDonald told Express many fishermen who campaigned for Brexit in Scotland would be opposed to the First Minister forcing their industry to comply with the EU CFP rules again. She said, we have to think about the fact that the fishing industry is quite diverse, so there would be someone in the industry that probably would be worried about that. There would be others that might not be, depending on what part of the fishing industry they're involved in. And I think also important that there's other things that would affect how people vote in an independence referendum and all sorts of those things. But I think certainly for those in the industry who have campaigned for change and reform to the CFP that hasn't happened and now see the opportunities for the UK industry to benefit from not being within the CFP. Then I think I see the prospect of rejoining and its route would be a difficult one. Under current EU rules, any country seeking to join the bloc has to pledge to adopt the euro as its currency and join the union's border-free Schengen area. It would also have to recommit to the European Common Fisheries Policy giving Brussels control over Scottish fishing waters. In a recent column for the Irish Times, Miss Sturgeon reiterated that independence is Scotland's only route to rejoining the EU. She wrote, we are now faced with a hard Brexit against our will, at the worst possible time in the middle of a pandemic and economic recession. It will mean disruption in the short term, while establishing new long-term barriers. Our people will be less safe and their right to work, study and live elsewhere in Europe will be restricted. This includes the loss of Erasmus, which saw more than 2,000 Scottish students, staff and learners use the scheme each year. It is therefore not surprising that a consistent majority of people in Scotland now say they are in favour of becoming an independent country. Scotland, like all nations, is unique. The same can be said of our constitutional circumstances. Scotland voted to remain part of the UK in 2014 by 55% of the vote to 45%. The SNP voted against Mr Johnson's Brexit deal when it came before Parliament on December 24. Douglas Ross, the Conservative leader in Scotland, was fiercely critical of the decision.